While Medang's Pacific Marine Industrial Zone remains a hot topic that draws to attention issues ranging from socio-economic, environmental and land issues, majority of politicians have remained quiet. But those key political heads are driving for the project to happen with pressure being put into the formation of integrated landowner groups. But Sumka MP Ken Fairweather has raised concerns about the plight of the Sec clan who own much of the land that the PMIZ will be built on. Cargo cult mentality. It, it's, they're not thinking ahead. You know, the people of Sec Island, that is in that industrial lease. Where are they going to go? The Sec clan have spoken of being marginalized on their own land. Some of the land was taken in the colonial era and ownership was shifted between the church and the government. Recently, their land has been taken up for the PMIZ project. The Sumka MP's concerns comes three days after landowners held this canoe protest. The protest was held to draw government attention to the waste damage on their traditional fishing grounds that will be caused by 10 proposed canneries. <laughs> landowners have learned hard lessons from the RD Tuna cannery that operates on what used to be traditional land. Nancy Sullivan, an anthropologist who has been following the PMIZ saga, explains people <laughs> will be looking for opportunities for jobs, education and land to build homes. None of the industry players really want to get an environmental picture of this because they would have to pay for the environmental costs that it would be. So Bethany Harriman, National MTV News.